man, my tongue is getting a workout. Now the picture here is of a Victorian couple, beautiful lady dress. Um, she has some sort of a club or a scepter and she's with the man there. So I don't know if they're going like to beat their uh, livestock or something. But the quote says, the quote is interesting. It says, my unconscious says yes, but my ladylike upbringing says no. <laughs> the crazy picker life with wheeler, dealer, and banana peeler. Good morning. This is Dealer with the Crazy Picker Life. We are in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. And if you're nearby, wave as you go by. <laughs> I forgot to welcome all you crazy pickers and adventurers, would-be adventurers. This is the show. This is the show that shows how our family buys and sells and picks. We sell on eBay, we flip stuff, and we are on a 10 day road trip. This is day, let's see, day seven. Day seven on the road. I'm going down to get <clears throat> A luggage dolly to take some packages to USPS. Uh oh, no luggage dolly. Going to have to find a luggage dolly. That's not my van. That is. Look at that. I found a luggage cart and I found Wheeler. Yeah. This is the way to go. I always have the guys hold the door for me, but I gotta start working smarter, not harder. Yep. Sometimes I gotta work harder, not smarter, because you start to think about it and you don't want to do it. But this is pretty fun. Yep. So we've got six boxes that we packed up and we're able to uh, consolidate a little bit. And we'll take these down to USPS in a little while. And then we gotta find. Easy, bub. Out of the door. And we gotta find a dumpster for a few things that we're throwing out in these boxes. And we still got plenty, but definitely takes a little of the pressure off buying more. All right, so let's take those to the van. Now, we usually try to keep our carts inside the cart. Wheeler likes to think that he's on a skateboard. Gonna have a, we're gonna have a collision here because we got Wheeler doesn't know how to steer this 18 wheeler. Get her in there. See, so you, you got all kinds of different size carts, all kinds of different size elevators. Yep. Lots of traffic. So, now what? Now we wait till we get to the bottom. Otherwise, we just... Well, this particular elevator was crafted after Star Trek, the first generation. Yeah. The first. That's good. The original. Listen carefully. It's the slow doors. <laughs> and there, we're all in. Wheeler's back here kind of pissing me off trying to... What, what's the trick you're trying to do? Just hop in the cart. Trying to hop the cart. Meanwhile, I'll break it. Break it in half. Oh. You know, Wheeler and I are 31 years apart and we get along in a lot of ways, but I've learned to not break things, mostly. All right, so I just got the scoop on the dumpster. It's around the building and we have to separate the junk from the cardboard and 
break down the cardboard because they are a recycling city here. So we will take and do that. And before you know it, you got all of them? Yep. Uh, they're just that stack. Yeah. All right. Is she trying to get in our room right now? Uh, I don't know, probably. It's kind of early. No, it's not early. Kind of early for us. We'll be done soon. So the parkway. So this field is where the old hotel used to be. Here's where the managers were at. And I would like to get a hold of these neon signs here that disconnect on the bottom. No and yes. Yes and no. But well, they look like they're fairly well attached. In fact, they look like they're welded on there. Parkway is no more. Hey Wheeler. What? Come dumpster dive. See if you can find any treasure. Sounds great. Oh, let's see here. Oh wait, there's a bear. There's a bear guarding the trash. That's the rare stipe bear, whatever the brand is that people like. Okay, so dive right in there and get it. Yep. 10.23 a.m. We're getting later and later and later. Some people uh, ask Wheeler and I uh, how we find so much stuff. And my wife, Lon, sometimes asks me why I buy so much stuff, but that's another story. Yeah. So, you know, here's the deal. There's a lot of pickers out there, like us, that find plenty of stuff. And then the key from finding plenty of stuff is finding quality items, whether they're, you know, more inexpensive, medium, or high. What you need to do is you need to start bringing the quality of your items up so you're not always spinning your wheels and getting low margins. Would you agree, Wheeler? Yeah. And so we bounce back and forth between... I would say high level, lower quality items, medium items, and then occasionally we stumble on what I would call some high quality items. I don't know, what's your def, def, what's your definition? <laughs> what's your definition of high quality items, Wheeler? High quality items are probably items that sell for over $500 and really quick. That's the that's my definition, but so that's a pretty high. That's a pretty high level definition. Yeah, that's I, I would, high. I would agree. And so most of our stuff is medium quality. It may require some cleanup. It certainly requires uh, identification, and then it's got a little bit of a medium or long tail sale. Um, we do get quick flips, and we do get some real high quality. Is not necessarily. Um, luxury items mm -hmm. but definitely in demand and good profit margin not much cleanup good shape yeah the so, flare like the flare and, and like that, that lens we got for a hundred bucks that was a six hundred dollar quick sale yep. or whatever yep so we every trip we we tend to run across a couple of those we haven't really got one this trip yet no, I think well for me, but no, I don't think we have. We got a ton of medium quality stuff. Yeah, definitely. And, and even higher end medium quality stuff. Yep. Yeah, good stuff for us. Mm -hmm. So, here's the steps needed off the cuff to find medium quality stuff. The first thing you have to do is get out the door. Yep. Gotta wake up in the morning, gotta go picking. Wee, wee, wee. The morning is where the picking is at. In a lot of cases, um, if you're familiar with your area, you may know your thrift stores when they put stuff out. It may be later in the day, and you need, you know, you may need to go then. Garage sales, uh, state sales, you know, first one there gets the worms. Um, auctions, you want to get there the night before or online or early enough to make sure you know 
what is in all those little flats yep. that they're going to toss up there and spend a minute on and only a few people really know the value of what's in there and if you're one of them you'll know your bidding limit or you'll know when to go to the moon auctions are quite a memorization game well some people were taking notes and stuff yeah i picked out a few uh flats those are the boxes with the open tops yep one was the belt buckles there were 10 11 12 old 70s uh beer belt buckles in there funny thing is i'm pretty sure the bid would have tripled or something like that if they had mentioned beer belt buckles when it came up for auction they didn't even know no they, they just, just didn't mention it they didn't uh they didn't they you know they didn't they just glossed over it yep, so they really did the bid was like 30 bucks or 32.50 is what i won those for yeah. i would have went to a hundred yep because there is easily 300 and maybe as much as four 450 in retail sales in there yeah but if i hadn't scoped the auction out ahead of time and dug in there a little bit i would not have known that that was the tote i was going after there were wow. a few others the beer tappers were another one i probably didn't even show those but i got some good new old stock beer ta tappers and some schlitz so get out the door early and secondly just get out the door <laughs> know your area or the areas that you pick expand your area a little bit and then the key the last key that i'm going to leave you with i mean you gotta start buying stuff and looking stuff up and experimenting with different things and all that but the biggest key that gets us to the secondary gold which is closer to like what the american pickers do yeah is talking to people yeah absolutely tell them what you're looking for make some friends and then the regular stops that are going to be uh stops that you stop at once a year twice a year once a week you know make friends with somebody at that location and they will lead you to the gold they'll save it for you they'll price it better for you they'll call you maybe yep all those things so wisconsin is one of our hunting grounds minnesota is becoming one of our hunting grounds kansas definitely is colorado is definitely is nebraska nebraska parts in nebraska we see people all the time up there that recognize us yep. <laughs> and we know a few um, from our junk john up there oh, it just gets easier and easier if you do this if you don't have this network in place if you haven't started to build this network you absolutely need to start today yep another thing to add i guess is we travel a lot so that's another reason we buy a lot we're never stuck in one place we're never stagnating on items from one certain town or whatever we always if we run out of stuff in one town, we'll move to another one. It's part of it. Yeah, we'll continue this topic because there certainly is yeah. mo more to this topic of how we fill the van. Yep. And then still, I mean, I can go to the dumpster <laughs> and fill the van. And I can go to a thrift store or a rummage sale and I can buy the whole thing. But the key, again, is getting yourself from the lower margin and the lower end items to some medium items consistently yep then it gets easier because you start making more money you can stay in hotels you can go farther you can put gas in your car you can eat at nice places you can relax at nice places you can take the family whatever yep that's where we're at and it's hectic but it's fun yep dealer out for now let's go see if we can uh, take these packages in sounds good <laughs> BB. All right, the Bethy's uh, thrift shop. We got uh, what's this called? Flicking chicken. Flicking chicken. How many chickens do you have there? Four. Four rubber chickens and some sort of a target. Yep. Boy, that'll be fun. <laughs> As a personal thing for. And oh, I got this one thing here. I gotta remember to take out, this is for Chicken Salad, who you met a few shows ago. Just gotta keep reminding them. It's a little early, but not that early. So we got him a little, a nice little mug. 
chicken salad. Well, AKA chicken. big chicken. Okay, we gotta get on with uh, the picking. We still haven't found the post office. Six chickens. Six chickens. Well, we got rid of those uh, USPS packages and uh, you know, good riddance. So that's 18 shipped home. Uh, chicken squeeze. Huh. There's a therapy chicken. Banana Peeler's got his therapy going with his stress relieving chickens there. Six rubber chickens, right? Yep. yep. And it's time for the daily uh, therapy flashcards. Now this is for as much for me as it is for the listening audience. <laughs> Maybe more for me. Unconscious. This card is unconscious. And by the way, these cards... Um, make you sound evolved even if you're not that's what this is all about apparently so this one says uh unconscious definition the part of the mind that is only rarely subject to awareness containing repressed instincts memories wishes ideas and images too anxiety inducing to be introduced into conscious so this is i guess where we hide our stuff. Characteristics of these type of people. Freudian slips, meaningful dreams, disassociated acts, seemingly inexplicable thoughts and conclusions, psychotherapeutic revelations. Man, my tongue is getting a workout. <laughs> now the picture here is of a Victorian couple, beautiful lady, dress. Um, she has some sort of a club or a scepter and she's with the man there so I don't know if they're going like to beat their uh, livestock or something but the quote says the quote is interesting it says my unconscious says yes but my ladylike upbringing says no <laughs> so Wheeler and I are having a short discussion about these and I've mentioned man these are pretty deep you know and and then Wheeler reminded me these are there's a chicken in the background <laughs> he reminded me that these are to sound evolved even if you're not yeah so when i am starting to communicate with rummage sale people shop owners camera people i'm gonna sound evolved sounds great and even, ah, what the heck even if i'm not we're having a <laughs> Chicken rubber, rubber battle. Chicken battle. Yeah. So it's one sided. So where thinking. where can people get these uh, these chickens if they want? Vat nineteen. Vat nineteen. That's where Can't banana see. peeler saw them. <laughs> off, off, off. Where's the off button? I need like a clicker so nobody sees my hand. Yeah, you could. You can get a remote. Clicker, no hand. Clicker, off, off, off. Doesn't work. Hmm. Well, 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 well. Good Salvation Keep, Army or bad Salvation chicken. Army? Everybody wants to talk. Keep the chicken off my shoulder. I don't want it's that there. So we went to the Salvation Army Family Store and uh, Banana Peeler wanted to check out some hats. Nothing there that was good. You can just see. Get that out of my camera, please. <laughs> uh, we went to some other decor store that did have some beer signs a camera or two and a lot of other mishmash video games nothing that caught our eye we'll keep looking casual day okay so we went to the Salvation Army here in Sheboygan St. Vincent de Paul yeah we got maybe one more of these uh, thrift stores it's a privately held one I, I'm starting to lose my patience with thrift stores mainly because we have gravitated towards places that we can either buy higher end beer stuff, um, higher end electronics, and cameras. And by gravitating to those spots, I've been buying a lot of other things that have been oddball electronics, musical, uh, toys, just higher end stuff. And we don't go to flea markets. I should say we don't go to thrift stores that much anymore. And we don't go to rummage sales that much anymore. At least we don't make a day of it. But we wanted to stay local. And uh, I picked up a shirt. In fact, Wheeler found it. It's just a, a funny, 
photo, YouTube photo guy <laughs> shirt. Frono's photo, I shoot raw shirt. Yeah, that means nothing to anybody. Ah, come on, man. But it is extra large, so I will be wearing it. Ha! Ah, I, I just upped my wardrobe. Okay, so I think we're going to go to a whatever antique store of some sort. Small town antique store just outside of uh, Sheboygan, Sheboygan Falls, and maybe a, another thrift store. And then we're going to eat somewhere, probably Sheboygan Falls. The last time we went to Sheboygan Falls, we went into some bar down there, had a nice burger, I think, and a beer. I had a beer and a political discussion with the bartender. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Not today. Well, I bought a trout sign, a Budweiser. These are from the 50s. And if I can get up in here, they light up bubble sign. This one has such a nice bubble. No scratches or anything. Fish and beer. It's a good combination. I paid uh, $47. And... Um, it's a hundred plus if plus shipping, hundred plus plus shipping if I want to wait a little bit. Some of these beer signs like this are funny because they're they're given as gifts and such, and so there might be three or four of them listed. There might even be a track record for mostly sixty, seventy, eighty dollars. But I've sold these before. If you wait, you get the money you want on on certain ones. This is one of them. I can't remember if we picked up anything else. I don't think so. We might go to one more thrift store. We're down at, uh, let's see, the beach here. We're gonna hook up with the kids and my wife and hang out at the beach. Fairly warm today, a little windy. I'm gonna have to put my muff on here. Put my muff on the camera. Where's my muff? This is uh, General King Park. I don't know if you can see the sign down there. Park and then pavilion and access to Lake Michigan. We'll go find them here in a minute. So I don't know if we've talked about this before, but uh, whoa, almost hit, almost hit, almost hit my uh, camera with your sick trick there. So Wheeler has uh, got his first sponsorship deal from, from where? Attitude. Attitude clothing line. Yeah. So we haven't, uh, we haven't received the the stock of new clothing, but he's, what do you have to do? Wear the clothing and shoot a video? Yep, pretty much. Promo video and a couple of pictures for the Instagram or whatever they want. So when I when I think of Wheeler, I think of Attitude. Yeah, there you go. So we'll have to see how that goes. So it's like all these other clothes, I'm wearing Vans, Stance, Rude. I don't know, yeah, all different types of brands that all sound about the same kind of We thing. read the About, and you're supposed to have some sort of attitude where you can just flip everybody off or something Ooh, crazy. Yeah. So we'll have to see how that works out. <laughs> Sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm heading down here to the beach. I noticed, of course, the beautiful water scene with the clouds in the background and the surf coming in and somebody sailing out here. Like that. Like that a lot. So down that way you've got a nice resort type uh, hotel, townhouse arrangement. And I think there's a lighthouse out there that's pretty cool. Somebody's doing a little sailing. You got a pretty good wind today. Kids are down here. I'm have to go talk to them about staying out of the bacteria-laden surf. Is that Sam going out there? Is that somebody else? It's not ours. And is this a power plant down here? There's been some weird contamination, and uh, today there's no fish smell. But they have some warnings and stuff, of course, for most of the beaches these days. There's plenty of warnings. So, what are you up to? Oh, you are hanging out. I'm going to have to edit this. Edit, edit, edit. I better watch it. Lately, I haven't been watching it all the way through. <laughs> Your underwears are hanging out. Okay, might have to do some editing here. Ooh. Take it all off. We 
We've got some digging going on. I think you're losing ground. Oh my goodness. What's going on, guys? Don't go too far in there, please. We've got a water panic. Water panic going on. Whoa. Surf's coming in pretty good. I think the kids are having fun. Bunch of land chickens over there. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Let's see if I can relax a little. So there it is. I bought this chair. I thought, man, I'm gonna sit on this thing. It looks so handy. I'll sit on it all the time. The problem, problem is, I don't ever stand still long enough or stay anywhere long enough oh, to enjoy it. Now, look at this. I got a place to keep my butt unsandy. And uh, it's my first time using it. It's worth all $5. Okay. Oh, look who's here with me. I'm in the muff. I can't even see myself. I know. That's the trouble with this wind muff thing. It's right in the screen. You can't tell when you're in the screen. And we are. And I'm squinting because I'm in the sun. Beautiful day at the beach. The kids are... The kids have found it. I got a new friend too. So we tried to minimize the going into the water because of the water quality, but then the boys found the outdoor shower and I think they're having more fun with that than with the beach. So, and then we're going to go play at the park. And Wheeler continues to wheel. That's why he's called Wheeler. Whoa. Yeah, that was the third, one landed. third one he's ever landed. He's got them all marked down on his notches on his scooter post. Okay, well we left the left the park and we're gonna try out the golden chopstick buffet here. Um, it's a good place. We've been here before. That was it. Chinese buffet was decent. And then it was nap time. <laughs> I don't get many naps. I occasionally will take one on a Sunday. That was a good hour and 10 minute nap. Uh, Wheeler got a 30 minute one, I guess. He's kind of groggy. He seems kind of groggy. And then there's... Sick BP. Sick. BP, oh man. So now it's time for swimming. So they have a slide and some sort of a red water nozzle and some sort of a yellow mushroom. And Wheeler and Banana Peeler have their uh, flying chicken, rubber chicken game they're gonna play. Wow, this lens is fogging up like mad. Chicken. Yeah, I don't know, I don't feel like chicken. What do you got there? It's rubber chicken. You feel like there? It's, it's, like, 
couple of rubber chickens. Whoa! Flying rubber chickens. Rubber chickens down the slide. Well, nap. Man, I look more awake. Nap, swimming, and now kids are at grandpa's and Lon does not like the filming anymore. She says, give me a drink. Something like that. So we're gonna go into uh, the bar. Pub, bar that's hooked to three sheeps brewery which is a local uh micro sheboygan pub and have a pint of ale together that's our big thing tonight i think Alrighty, well i just dropped lawn off at her father's and the boys should be coming out it's uh 10 o'clock at night so we're gonna wrap this up had a good uh, had a good date with my wife. Had a chance to sit down and uh, you know just talk and hang out, and that's what we need to do because we got a crazy life when we're with all the kids. So tomorrow is a traveling day and a picking day, and then we'll be hooking up at the evening hour with chicken salad. So that'll be fun. We got some things to uh, attend to in uh, Janesville. We're going to visit with some family. Oh, here comes the boys. So I'm going to close the vlog out. I don't even remember how much how much stuff I recorded. You have to give me a break. I apologize. Uh, vacation coma. Did you guys have fun? Yep. Yep. Okay. Got to get some gas, go to sleep, get up, pack up, get out of town. Woo hoo. Woo -woo. Pick well, list often. I am looking forward. See, this is funny. When you go on vacation like this, I mean, I like picking, but there comes a certain point where you want to turn your auctions back on, which I'm going to do pretty soon, and you want to get listing. Yep. When you get good stuff, you want to list it so maybe I should say well hey it's in there pick well that means get good stuff list often that means list often I'm like seven days without listing yeah how do you feel listing about withdrawal that? listing withdrawal dealer out hey, dealer production <laughs>